Hello, my name is Robert Douglas and I work as a sport doctor in Adelaide, South Australia. I'm talking today about my paper that's to be published in the International Journal of Clinical Practice entitled Corticosteroid Injection into the Osteoarthritic Knee, Drug Selection, Dose and Injection Frequency. Steroid injection into the osteoarthritic knee was first described in 1953 and the first clinical trial was reported in 1958. The first reported detrimental effects of steroid injection into the knee were described in 1958 and in 1959 Chandler and others coined the term Charcot arthropathy to describe patients with a relatively painless destruction of the hip joint following a prolonged series of monthly hydrocortisone injections into the hip joint. For this review I re-examined the published material and determined the following. Although there are several steroid agents available for intra-articular injection, there is scant comparative data and there is only a weak trend for triamcinolone to be the most efficacious agent. Choice of agent appears to be determined by training tradition, not by any hard data as to relative efficacy or availability. There is disagreement as to the optimal dose of steroid to be injected and there is no evidence to support injection of doses higher than those suggested by the various manufacturers. There is too little data to draw any conclusion as to the optimal frequency of joint injection and current usage is determined by practitioner opinion. Lastly, and most importantly, the traditional teaching that corticosteroid injection damages joints and results in the establishment of a Charcot joint is incorrect and has resulted from a misinterpretation of the original source paper. The authors of that paper concluded that the generation of a Charcot joint is due to the overuse of a treated joint due to undue weight bearing and mobility and is not a steroid effect per se. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy reading my paper and debating my findings with your colleagues. Thank you.